Welcome to the public housing portal training video on reviewing the shortfall application. This video is intended for Financial Management Division, FMD, users only. Navigating to the shortfall application module. Go to Field Office Reports and Submissions in the left navigation menu. Open the Shortfall Submissions drop-down menu. Select Shortfall Application, HUD 50095. Select the calendar year. Open the Subreports drop-down menu. Select Number 4, Pending Review, to display a report with a list of shortfall applications submitted by PHAs and requiring FMD review. Reviewing the HUD 50095 shortfall application. In the blue ribbon, select FMD training video to view a summary tutorial on how to review the shortfall application submission within this module. Select FMD user guide to view an in-depth instructional guide on how to review the shortfall appeal submission within the module. Click the pencil icon to review a specific shortfall application. In their shortfall application, the PHA may request a full shortfall funding that they are eligible to receive, or they may request a lower amount. PHAs must submit a shortfall appeal if they believe they are eligible for more than the published amount. PHAs are required to include comments explaining why the PHA requested a lower shortfall funding amount. PHAs must select and certify their shortfall tier. Tier 1. PHAs have a negative monthly operating reserves, MOR, due to negative operating reserves. HUD provides these PHAs with a single Tier 1 grant to raise the PHA's operating reserves to zero. Tier 2. PHAs have an MOR between zero and three months. HUD provides these PHAs with two Tier 2 grants to raise the PHA's MOR to three. Verifying the signed shortfall application. The submitted shortfall application must be signed by the PHA's executive director, either electronically or manually with a wet signature. If a PHA submitted an application with the wet signature, FMD must review the form to ensure the PHA attached the file with correct information, the executive director's signature and date, and the shortfall application ID. The shortfall application ID in the attached form shall match with the ID in the portal. If the shortfall application is electronically signed, no further action is needed from FMD. If the shortfall application has a wet signature, follow these steps. Click the Sign Shortfall Application button. In the pop-up window, click the Download link to download and save the file to your desired location. Open the file and verify the Executive Director's signature and date on the application. Verify that the shortfall application ID at the bottom of the second page matches the shortfall application ID in the portal. If the attached signed form is correct and does not contain any errors or omissions, FMD may validate the file attachment and accept the application form. If the attached signed form contains errors or omissions, FMD must invalidate the file attachment. Updating the shortfall funding eligible amount. FMD can enter and save the shortfall funding the PHA is eligible to receive in the eligible amount field. This amount is visible to the PHA only after FMD accepts the application. Enter the shortfall funding the PHA is eligible to receive in the eligible amount field. Click the Apply Changes HUD button to save the updates. Updating the shortfall funding HUD obligation amount. FMD can record the shortfall funding that is obligated to the PHA. FMD can only update the obligation amounts before the acceptance of the shortfall application. This amount is visible to the PHA only after FMD accepts the application. Enter the shortfall funding HUD obligated to the PHA in the HUD obligation amount field. Click the Apply Changes HUD button to save the updates. Adding obligation documents. FMD can add obligation documents related to the shortfall funding. Click the Obligation Document button. Select Shortfall Obligation for Document Type. For Document View, select HUD View Only for documents restricted to HUD staff only. Include any comments if necessary. Click the Choose File button. After selecting the appropriate file, 
click the Upload File button. The file appears in a list below the File Upload section. Click the download link to download and open the file. Click the trash bin icon to delete the file. Repeat these steps to add additional documents. Click the close and return button when finished to return to the application. Adding comments. FMD may add comments related to the shortfall application. These comments are only viewable by HUD staff. Enter your comments in the HUD comments, HUD staff only text box. Click the Apply Changes HUD button to save the updates. Validating and invalidating file attachments. If FMD finds that the attached file is acceptable and appropriately addresses the purpose, then the FMD user should validate the file attachment. For all accepted application submissions, the portal automatically validates all file attachments. Likewise, if FMD finds that the file is not acceptable or does not address the purpose, then the FMD user should invalidate the file attachment. For denied and returned application submissions, the portal automatically invalidates all file attachments. To validate or invalidate a document, click the Uploaded link in the Document Status HUD column. Click the Validate or Invalidate button. Click the OK button. Click the OK button again. Click the Close and Return button if finished, or continue with the review of the other file attachments if necessary. If FMD validated or invalidated the file attachment by mistake, FMD can remove the validation or invalidation designation. Click the Validated or Invalidated link in the Document Status HUD column. Click the Remove Validation, Invalidation button. Click the OK button. Click the OK button again. Sending emails to the PHA from the portal. FMD can send an email directly to the Executive Director from the portal to request further information. Click the Send Email button. Upload any relevant documents as necessary. Enter your email text in the Message text box. Click the Send button. Accepting the Shortfall Application FMD may accept the PHA's application if FMD finds that the application is acceptable and meets the following conditions. Number 1. If the PHA submitted an application with an electronic signature, FMD must verify the PHA's Executive Director's signature and date on the application. Number 2. If the PHA submitted an application with a wet signature, verify that the shortfall application ID on the attached application matches the shortfall application ID within the portal. Number 3. FMD added the eligible amount. Click the Accept Application button. The portal notifies the PHA's Executive Director and Point of Contact via email that HUD has accepted this shortfall application. Returning the shortfall application. FMD may return the shortfall application to the PHA to correct any deficiencies on the shortfall application. Provide the PHA with a reason why FMD returned the shortfall application and how the PHA can correct any deficiencies within the return slash denial comments text box. Click the Return Application button. The portal notifies the PHA's Executive Director and Point of Contact via email that HUD has returned the shortfall application. This email includes the return slash denial comments. The PHA's shortfall application reverts to created status, and the PHA must correct and resubmit their application. Denying a shortfall application. FMD may deny the PHA's shortfall application if necessary. Provide the PHA with a reason on why FMD denied the shortfall application within the return slash denial comments text box. Click the Deny Application button. The portal notifies the PHA's Executive Director and Point of Contact via email that HUD has denied the shortfall application. This email includes the return slash denial comments. The PHA may appeal HUD's decision to deny a shortfall application. Withdrawing a shortfall application. 
FMD may withdraw the PHA's shortfall application at any time after it is accepted. FMD must add withdrawal documentation. Click the Withdrawal Document button. Select Shortfall Withdraw Documents for document type. Select HUD View Only for document view for documents restricted to HUD staff only. Include any comments if necessary. Click the Choose File button to search for the withdrawal document. After selecting the appropriate file, click the Upload File button. Click the Close and Return button when finished to return to the application. After adding the withdrawal documents, enter withdraw comments, explaining why FMD or why the PHA requested to withdraw the shortfall application. Click the Withdraw Application button. The portal notifies the PHA's executive director and point of contact via email that HUD withdrew the shortfall application. This email includes the withdraw comments. Closing the shortfall application. When the shortfall obligation is equal to zero and has been accepted, FMD can close the application. Click the Close Application button. The shortfall submission is now closed. Thank you for watching this public housing portal training video on reviewing the shortfall application. Be sure to review the FMD user guide for additional guidance on the review process. For questions regarding technical issues with using the public housing portal, contact public housing portal at hud.gov.